Hi, my name is Hayley and I'm 26. In this video testimonial, I'd like to go through what my life was like before the Thrive Programme and what it was like after. Um, I've been emetophobic for as long as I can remember. Um, it started off mild and it progressively got worse over the years. The, the biggest fear that I have is physically being sick myself. So that dreaded stomach bug that goes around each year, I will avoid like the plague. Um, actually, one of the exercises in the Thrive book is to list all the avoidance things that you, you do to avoid being sick. And this is my list. Super long as you can see. So on here, some of the things that I avoid are, are flying, boat trips, long car journeys. I don't get car sick or air sick, but it's, it's more of the chance that it could happen. Um, I would avoid going out drinking with my friends, um, to pubs and clubs. Um, it would just be too much of a, a risk to see someone throw up, or if I was to drink too much alcohol, you know, I, I could potentially throw up myself. Um, and here it says I wouldn't drink water anymore. Um, that started off when I was really, really little. The first experience I had, actually, I uh, had a stomach bug, and my parents gave me some water to try and make me feel better. Um, that I threw that straight back up and since then I've kind of believed that I can't drink water anymore. Um, another one is that I would choose not to get pregnant because the fear of morning sick sickness. Um, I would always have chewing gum in my handbag, uh, that's, that's uh, a, quite a biggie for me actually. Um, if, I, if I didn't have chewing gum I would have a massive panic attack. For me the, uh, the sperm mint would sit on my stomach and, and help me not to be sick. Um, also, I would uh, have um, avoidance things on like food. Um, I'd kind of stay away from chicken because that could potentially have uh, salmonella poisoning. So I'd either make sure it's overcooked, pretty much burnt, <laughs> um, or not have it at all. Over the years, um, the foods that I used to enjoy kind of got less and less really because if I was to eat something and that evening feel a bit sick, I would cut that out of my diet completely. So over a period of time, the <laughs> the foods on my list were completely non-existent, really, other than toast, anything sort of like chips, things like that that you really can't get sick from. That's all I would really eat. Um, even then, eventually, that would go as well, because cause I have anxiety all the time, I would get that confused with feeling sick, so I just didn't eat anymore. Um, I would also not sleep at night. Uh, when I used to be sick when I was little, it would always be at night time. So I kind of stopped sleeping. I was too frightened to, to fall asleep in case I was to wake up and be sick. Um, so eventually I would stop eating, not sleeping. I wouldn't really do anything really, go out of the house. Going to work would be a mission. I would avoid hospitals, schools, anywhere there'd be children. If if my friends or family asked me to babysit, I would find an excuse not to. It would be too much of a high risk to, to, to pick up a stomach bug. Um, so I just, I wouldn't. Um, so eventually my, my friends and family said that, you know, I kind of need to get help. Which I could see that I do. I was underweight, not sleeping, I was exhausted. Um, so the first thing I did, I booked a doctor's appointment. Um, I went to see him and he pretty much referred me to a psychiatrist and an eating clinic. Um, neither of those I attended because I knew I don't have an, an eating disorder so it was a complete waste of time really. I, uh, so I went online to see if I could get some private help and I came across hypnotherapy. I gave that a go. It didn't work. It pretty much just made it worse. Um, so I went back online. And then I came across this Thrive program um, by Rob Kelly. I went out and bought the book. This is the book. I worked through all the chapters. And I did all the exercises. Um, pretty much classes is my bible. <laughs> I phoned a, a Thrive consultant and I did this book. I went through it with her. Um, we did it. I had a Thrive session once a week. I think it was about six, seven sessions I did. And I can honestly say that it has changed my life. Um, everything on this list that I couldn't do, I could now do. I can um, go on an aeroplane without worrying about being sick. Um, I can go on long, long car journeys. 
last year um, my friend actually went into hospital and uh, she had pneumonia and I actually managed to go visit her. I walked straight through the gastro department, no problem. Um, it really doesn't faze me anymore. Um, I looked after my best friend's baby the other day and uh, not a problem, wasn't worried about her being sick or anything. Um, I can drink water now. That took a little while to do but I still managed to do it. Um, also during the Thrive programme itself I kind of developed night terrors. Um, I think which was just caused by me kind of not wanting to let go of the phobia really. All the avoidance procedures that I, I've been doing for me worked and it helped me um, deal with the, the phobia. Not very well but it <laughs> for me it did help. Um, but I stuck with it. I did the Thrive programme, did the sessions, didn't miss any. I committed myself to the book and it really does work. I'm completely cured of this metaphobia. Everything that I couldn't do I could now do. Um, some of the things that I can do now are drinking alcohol. Um, last year I uh, went to America. Um, I was able to have a drink with my family and not worry about me being sick. Um, it can also be applied to other aspects of your life as well. Um, in America I actually um, booked a uh, white water rafting, which I would never ever do in a million years, purely because of the fear that I could fall off and possibly drown, which I actually did do. <laughs> fell off and pretty much drowned a little bit but it was fun you know um, I managed to do it and everything that I look at now I see is a challenge um, and it really has helped and I hope that people that watch this video can relate to me and to not suffer alone you know pick up the phone phone a Thrive consultant even just buy the book and go through it you'd be surprised how much it will help um, actually uh, met Rob Kelly for the first time yesterday to discuss um, trainings as I consulted myself because I'm really passionate about it and I really do believe in it. Um, so if I can at least help one other person out there then it's worthwhile.